Hello everyone. These are the most powerful blocks of the MATLAB Smoling. And no one tells about these blocks. So in this video, we are going to learn about how these blocks are functioning for these signals. So let's get started. So the first block is backlash. To understand the functioning of the backlash, we will consider a signal that is sine waveform and we will connect to the backlash input. And the parameter of the sine waveform are is considered as the frequency is 1 Hz and amplitude is 1. And apply it and the parameter of the backlash is considered as a dead band of 0.5 we are using the dashboard scope to analyze the output of the backlash to connect the dashboard just click on the dashboard and hit on the connect button and click on the signal line the output will be appeared here to connect the sine waveforms, click on the signal line and the sine waveform is appeared here. Now run this model. To run this model, click on this button and the model is running. So how the functioning will be the backlash will be we are stacking the one cycle and we will understand the logic okay so we have given the dead band width of the 0.5 so until unless it is reaching to the 0.25 so we will take a cursor You can see so until always the difference between these two signals are reaches as a 0.25 this output won't change once it is exceed the 0.25 the output is going to change as you can see the difference will always be 0.25 when and it is going in the positive directions and once it reaches the maximum and once again it will see the negative directions the backlash output will remain the flat during this time and it will remain flat until unless the difference between these two will be 0 0.7 0 0.25 once the difference is the become the 0.25 and it is going to negative and it is going to minus one and it is the sine waveform is reversing its directions so once its direction is reversing and until unless the difference between these two will be 0.25 it will be same again it is going to changing this output so this is the way the backslash will be changing its input and output and it is changing the dead band is the dead band width divided by 2 so this is the way the first block, the backlash will work. Now we will go to the second block. So this is the dead zone and we have made all the arrangement. So the start of the dead zone is minus 0.25 and end of the dead zone is 0.25. And the sign parameter we have given the one is amplitude and frequency is one hertz so the dead zone will be giving the output as zero within the dead zone and it is giving the output will be the input minus dead zone 
so we will understand this we will run this simulation for the one second and we will see the waveform so you can see that this is the dead zone so until analyze it is having the dead zone is 0.25 it is giving the output is 0 once it is exceeding the dead zone limit input is exceeding the dead zone limit it is giving the output and this will be always the input minus dead zone so this is the input is 1 and dead zone is 0.25 so this difference is always the 0.25 so here you can see that it is 0.25 and uh, it is always be zero so dif the difference should be greater than 0.25 so it will give out always output and our output will be the input minus that chunk so this is the working of the dead chunk so now we will go to the third block head crossing will give the output when there is a crossing there is a zero crossing so Whatever crossing you can make it 0 0.5, 0 0.25, depending upon your requirement, you can change the crossing and it will give the pulse whenever it hits the particular crossing. Okay, so we have considered the same input voltage and the frequency is 1 hertz and we will run it. You can see whenever it is crossing the 0, it is giving the one pulse again it is crossing the zero and is giving the one pulse as it is crossing the in positive directions okay so in the positive directions only when it is crossing the zero it is giving the pulse as the output we can see it by zooming this you can see there is a one pulse whenever it is crossing to the zero so this is the way the heat crossing will work now we will go to the next block. So rate limiter is also known as a slew rate controller. So here you can change the slew rates. For example, you are giving a square pulse and you don't want to change the output at the same instant. So you have to control the slew rate. So you are giving you are changing the input from 0 to 1 and your output should not change your output will take some time to reach at 1 so that is known as a slew rate so we will understand this so we have given the slew rate is 1 and falling is rising as slew and falling as slew is minus 1 so it is a 1 volts per second we are giving so the pulse from the pulse generator we are giving the amplitude is one period is four second and a 50 percent duty cycle and we will run it you can see that you are changing the input from zero to one but the output is not changing at the same time so we have given the slew rate is one so from 0 to 1 it is taking a 1 second duration and while the pulse is changing its state from 1 to 0 the output is changing in 1 second now we will change the rate limiter at a 0.5 and the following is as 1 and we will run it again So it is taking twice the time. It is taking two seconds to reach at 0.1 and one second to reach at 1 to 0. So this is the way you can control the slew rate with the help of red red limiter. The next block is wrap to zero. So it will give the zero when it is reaches a threshold limit so two 
use this blog we have developed a small setup and where we are adding the output with the help of with the input and the output is given to the rep zero block so here we have given the threshold is 100 and when the input is reaches more beyond 100 it will gives the output as zero okay so now we will run it and we will see the output so you can see here we are having the input as well as output so it is starting from zero and you can see it is increasing and once it will reach 100 it is giving the output as zero again so this is the way you can use the wrap to zero block in your model so these are the five block no one is going to tell about so these are the most powerful blocks for your simulink so if you like this video please like share and subscribe my channel and if you want me to make such kind of video please comment me in the comment section thank you